Well, it's a start. Last summer, my daughter and I built a pull-out bed in her new cargo trailer. And I, start, I shot some video, but I didn't really describe the bed too much. I think we were in a hurry to get it built and, and I didn't spend a lot of time on the video. So I'm gonna finish the video today and show you how we designed her pull-out uh, double bed in this six by 10 cargo trailer. Well, Nikki got a hold of me and said she wanted a pull-out bed built in the back of her cargo trailer. So she came over yesterday and her and I worked on it. We didn't even have a plan to start. You know, everybody makes those slat beds these days, the kind with the comb fingers that pull out. And, and personally, I don't like the looks of those. They look flimsy. They look like uh, after a little bit of use, they're going to start falling apart and the you know, I just didn't like the looks of them. So I wanted to build something similar, but more substantial. And this is what Nikki and I came up with. Here we had this gluing up last night. I didn't like the idea of uh, two by four legs that, or two by two or two by four legs that just stick down because they're not very well attached to the piece on top. But Nikki had the idea of using um, three quarter inch plywood for the front leg. This is gonna be a lot stronger. We didn't wanna go with all the slats. So what we used is two by four for supports here and uh, there'll be plywood on top. So it should be plenty strong. We're not even halfway done building this, so we'll show you what, what we do as we go along here. Well, Nikki will be here soon. She's out running errands this morning. So in the meantime, I've been doing some details. I installed this centerpiece here between the legs. Just to kind of finish off the trim and the leg on the front. I installed supports in the back that go down, that uh, take the weight from the top and take it all the way down to the floor so the bunk can't sag in the back. When the top of the bed closes, the ends of these two by fours rest on top of these uh, two by two blocks and the front edge, the very front edge here is beveled a little bit just to make this slide up into there better. Well, that's what I've been up to so far today. Well, it's coming along. Nikki showed up, so things started progressing a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I actually had to go to work because the boss is here. That was all of them. Well, let's uh, clear it off and try it out again. Okay. So that's it out. Just about all the way. Well, that part works. Nice. Nice. And that's the measurement. I can't see. Well, the mattress just showed up. Now it's time to cut it and make two separate cushions. I suppose I could... Uh, what you got there, Linda? All turkeys start running. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that works. This is my latest ride. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's we'll start the other side. Yeah. It doesn't matter. That's an electric carving knife. 
That's all it is. Goes through the foam really easy. Everything's clear. Wow, very nice. Look yeah, at that. Nice clean cut. One thing that had a lot to do with the design of her bunk was that this is a barn door trailer, not a not a ramp. And the left side here, when you when you open the door, this side opens first. And that had to do with how we designed the bunk on the inside. Let me show you. Not much going on here in the inside. Uh, we haven't started working. There's a bunch of stuff stored up here. This is the V of the trailer, the front V. But it's all insulated. The windows are in. This is looking towards the back there. Lighting's a little better here. Windows are in and the floor, the ceiling, the walls, even the rear doors are all insulated. And uh, so is the man door over here. It's also insulated. So it does get nice and toasty warm in here and it's warm in here right now. We still need to put in a diesel heater. That's gonna happen in the next couple of weeks. But anyways, this is the bed we built. And I know the lighting's not too great. Now let me get a light out. So this is how we built it. And we allowed a passageway on this side. We wanted you to be able to walk through because in the summertime, that door on this side will be will be open and there's a screen here. So they wanted to be able to go in and out through the back door if they so desired. So that's why the, the bed doesn't come all the way to the wall and instead the bed is this way, longitudinal. And it stops just short of the man door here. On the sides over here, there's mounts for a single pipe berth. I'll show you those when I'm all done here, showing you this pull out bed. The way the bed works is it pulls out like this. And then this piece just slides into the space behind like that. Right like that. Of course, when it's folded up, it makes a sofa. I'll show you that at the end. What I want to do right now is take the uh, plywood off and show you what's underneath. So I'm just tilting this part up so you can see underneath. It's got that face on the front. And that's uh, just half inch plywood. And then uh, two by four for the frame across the front. And these are the uh, two by four fingers that extend out that support it. On the end here are these blocks, and that's so when you slide it out, those blocks come up against here from the inside and keep you from pulling it too far and having it fall down on the floor. I think you can see how that would work. This is what I meant about not being able to pull it out all the way. It automatically stops right there because of those stops I put on the three two by fours. The plywood on the front being cut open like that is so that you can access underneath here for storage. So on both ends, there's these fiddles that stick up and that, that keeps the mattress from sliding off. When I built it, I started off by building this framework on the wall this way. That was the first thing I built. This just gives you an idea of what the front face looks like. It's just another simple frame. You can see it's fastened to the floor with just some simple hardware store angle brackets just to hold it down. Folding the bunk up is actually pretty simple. It's just a matter of picking this piece up. And sliding the rest in like that. 
Now you can see how the front is on it and how you can access the storage underneath two ways, either from the top when the bunk is open or from the front like this. It's just really simple. It only took us a couple days to build it. The mattress isn't done yet. It needs to go into a, a nice uh, double slip cover. It's just a six inch memory foam mattress. And it's already been cut, but it's in just one big sleeve, so that's not real handy. Otherwise, it turned out pretty darn good. It works. And it's really strong and fairly easy to use. And when it's folded up, it leaves this really nice floor space here, which is, I don't know, almost, it's probably 40 inches wide. So there's plenty of room over here for a nice long fold down table. So you can sit here on the sofa now and you can uh, have a table fold down from this wall. Well, I have a video that shows how to make these pipe bursts, but I'll go ahead and reinstall this one so you can see what it is. They're really comfortable. This end of the pipe berth just fits into the uh, enclosed circle here. And then this end drops in. And this wooden lever just folds over the top so it can't jump out going down a dirt road. This backer here is long enough to take in three frame sections. That's why it extends out past here. So it covers one, two, three vertical wall frames. In my own cargo trailer, Linda and I each sleep on a pipe berth like this one. And with it a self-inflating mat on the top for insulation and a little additional cushion, this is really a comfortable bunk. What Linda and I did on our cargo trailer is we've got a uh, um, a cargo net, the kind that goes in the back of an SUV, and it fastens from here up to the ceiling, and we carry all our bedding up there when we travel. It's really handy. Well, almost done. Big screen TV over there. I'm gonna have a big table come down here. Mm -hmm. And then, so there's room to sit. Sit. Yeah, then they and can, sit the three of us can sit here. here. Yeah. If they weren't sticking to Making the final plans. Well, that's not the only way to build a pull-out bunk. That's just the way we did it. If you look online, you'll see a lot of different methods. This worked out really good for us, and we're happy with it. Hey, if you liked it, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.